Why did they do it? That question lingers in the minds of many. What led Lyle and Eric Menendez to murder their own parents on that fateful night in August 1989? Some argue it was years of alleged physical and sexual abuse by their father, Jose Menendez. Others suggest it all boiled down to greed and the promise of a multi-million dollar inheritance. The defense during the trial claimed that the brothers acted out of fear and desperation after years of mistreatment. However, many pointed out how quickly they began spending their parents' money after the crime. Luxury watches, expensive cars, and international trips suggest that ambition might have been the true driving force behind their actions. With the recent documentary Menendez Plus Menudo, Boys Betrayed offering new information and reigniting interest in the case, the question arises once again. Were Lyle and Eric victims of an abusive father, or were they simply young men willing to do anything for their family's fortune? More than 35 years later, the mystery remains unresolved. The murders took place on August 20th, 1989, in the family mansion in Beverly Hills. Jose and Kitty Menendez were exhausted after spending the day on a yacht, shark fishing. That night, the suns went out and the parents retired to the den to watch the spy who loved me. Hours later, neighbors heard what they thought were fireworks around 10 p.m., but they were actually gunshots. Jose was the first to be attacked, receiving a point-blank shot to the head with a Mossberg 12-gauge shotgun. Kitty, who was asleep, woke up at the sound of the first shot. Disoriented, she ran down the hallway but was shot in the leg and collapsed, where she was then riddled with bullets. The brothers shot their parents in the knees, attempting to stage the crime as a mob-style execution. After committing the murders, they left the scene, disposed of the weapons, and went to a local theater to watch Batman, establishing an alibi. At 11.47 p.m., Lyle called 911, screaming, Someone killed my parents. From the beginning, the police found the brothers' behavior suspicious, but there wasn't enough evidence to arrest them. Security at the Menendez mansion was high, but Jose often deactivated the alarm system and left the doors unlocked, even after his Mercedes-Benz was stolen. Kitty, nervous in the weeks leading up to the crime, locked her bedroom door and kept a rifle in her closet. Weeks before her death, she confided in her psychiatrist that she feared her sons were sociopaths. After the murders, Lyle and Eric led a life of lavish excess, which increased suspicions against them. Lyle bought a Rolex watch, a Porsche 911, and acquired a Chicken Wings restaurant in Princeton. Eric hired a tennis coach and competed in professional tournaments. Both left the family mansion and moved into luxury penthouses in Marina del Rey, driving around in their mother's convertible Mercedes and enjoying vacations in the Caribbean and London. The prosecution argued that the brothers spent about a million dollars in the first six months after the murders. Lyle and Eric's fate was sealed when Eric confessed the murders to a psychiatrist. Although Lyle threatened the doctor, he decided to break confidentiality and go to the police. On December 8, 1992, a grand jury formally charged the brothers with murder. The trial became a media sensation in the U.S., especially when it was broadcast live on court TV in 1993. The defense attorney argued that the brothers were victims of abuse, while the prosecution maintained that greed was the true motive. The first trial ended in a mistrial, but in 1996, a second trial convicted Lyle and Eric of first-degree murder. Although the prosecution sought the death penalty, the jury opted for life imprisonment without the possibility of parole. The judge sentenced the brothers to spend the rest of their lives in prison, separated in different maximum security prisons. Since their imprisonment, both have married. Lyle married in 1997, though it ended in less than a year. Eric married in 1999 in the prison visiting room. Despite the limitations, they maintain relationships and serve their sentences in separate prisons. In 2018, after 20 years without seeing each other, Lyle and Eric were transferred to the same prison, allowing them to reunite. 
The Menendez case remains a landmark in U.S. criminal history, and its legacy has been revived by a new series exploring the details of the crime and its aftermath. Despite the years, the debate over whether the brothers acted out of fear or greed continues, captivating new generations.